Hey guys, Josh with Link Spider, and this is the Mevo Core. So Mevo Core recently came out a couple of days ago, the 19th. In fact, it was announced. Uh, the Mevo Core is a micro four thirds mount camera with a micro four thirds sensor, and it's made by a company you might've heard of called Logitech. Um, now, first and foremost, this is not one of those videos of this is how you should do this, or this is should you do this, but this is could you do this. Yes, the Mevo Core will mount on a Link Spider in its standard format with the Husky Edition or the adapter add-on. Whether you should, that's going to be up for debate uh, probably within the next few months. Uh, Mevo is probably going to say no because the lenses that you would mount to this camera are probably not going to handle shock. Uh, they've got motors, they've got gears, they've got glass, they've got small parts that could break. A direct impact on that is probably not going to go too well. But that's not our job. Our job is to do a couple of things. One is to find out, will it work on our product? And it does fit to an extent. This is a 14 to 42 zoom lens. And when you're zoomed all of the way back on this very small field, you don't get the full field of the shot. And we kind of expected this. It's going to take a wider lens than that. The other thing is, when it is completely zoomed back so that you're at your widest point, the barrel is extended the farthest. And even with our camera all the way back on the Husky slider, uh, the, ex the lens extends through the, through the opening of the fence, and we absolutely would not recommend that. There are a couple of pancake lenses that are a little wider, they're a little more shallow. We're gonna give those a shot and see what they do. We're gonna be releasing some sample video, again, on our test field, just to give you some comparisons of other cameras that we've tested. The sensor is substantially larger than any other camera we've tested, so we expect a little bit better quality. It has the ability to do zoom and manual focus and things like that, stuff that we really would like to be able to do at the field. But for all intents and purposes, this is a studio camera. It's not gonna really relate too well to the ball field. There are some things that you could do outside, and we're gonna play with those things. Look for more, Josh at Link Spider. Thanks a lot.